so hello everyone welcome to this episode and in this episode we are going to see on audio interfaces without a further ado let's begin <laughs> So we are going to classify the audio interfaces in five categories which is the IO which you need okay you need to decide whether it's a stereo 7.1 5.1 or 7.1.4 22.2 something like that okay and then what and all the budget you have like including acoustics speakers amplifiers everything like that if you are with a beginner then uh, normal interface with headphone is enough okay so i'm uh, just telling okay then build quality how is the build quality of the uh, interfaces and how much years it has been released like uh, updates and all how it's like that okay then let's come out to features in the fourth point okay features like what and all it's providing like monitor eq uh, room eq and mute dim uh, something like that okay and the last one is sound quality to begin with is mtrx studio from avid what is the speciality of this thing this is mainly used by everyone who are having like an 16 channel output kind of thing okay like uh, 7.1.4 or something like that okay like that setup up to 16 you can have the output like input also you, you can uh, like uh, figure it out over here like 16 input and 16 output the db uh, 26 i guess uh, yeah that one so the uh, 16 output 16 in the db this one even the dante uh, for the renderer and the accelerator or the inter uh, like the what we can say ac- from the pc towards and moreover everything will be having an uh, uh, connect uh, there will be an one device between interface and the uh, my our uh, the computer so it is actually called accelerator or stuff like that Okay now let's talk about the price actually what's available at here okay in india it's around uh, oh yeah, you can see it over here lol so much uh these features are you can uh see over uh, in the mtrx studio website the avid website now it's done now let's go to red 4 pre okay this is also same like that but here we can see much more specification than there okay so over here let me uh, tell you about the audio thing like how many outputs are there and stuff like that okay this is the similar one to that but this output is around 10 okay so if you are going with 5.1.4 then this is a get to go for you okay but uh, what netflix recommends is 7.1.4 it should be mixed in minimum okay or any theater thing theater is actually much larger so that it will have an proper this one okay and now let's uh, uh, see the budget how much you might require so this will cost you around this much india plus tax okay okay uh, shipping also all by 200 plus this one 6800 close to uh, 3000 okay in india dollars you can convert it 3000 like that okay then um, okay let's uh, look at the line outputs and the inputs so inputs it can give you phantom power okay 48 that's actually great and noise level to be low so how much it it, it can be less the greater uh, you can get the output okay even here also uh, we can look at um all our uh, db25 actually saying okay and then uh, 10 kilo ohm okay and uh 70 db at 997 hertz that that's the normal thing which it actually comes from okay the sound quality is great okay in this but uh, we need a uh, according to this uh, mtrx studio um can i say both like tackle each other okay uh, and both have 
features like Dante and uh, world clock sync everything you can see over here okay like Dante also it has same almost the same but uh, there is some differences over here like monitor outputs like the stereo something like that okay or headphones okay like that okay and then next it's a complete different thing over here we are moving away from Pro Tools now we are coming over to DaVinci Resolve okay so this is something that uh, is kind of little bit old as I want to say but it works with the recent softwares like 17 studio or 17 like that okay okay then uh, over here as usual like both of uh, those it requires an accelerator or and uh, what we can say from the uh, in between on one hardware it's required okay so here in the fair light thing you can see over here video on clock in everything is same LTC LTC and uh, the sync things so in that we had Dante for that Dante and uh, sinks for in the Dante itself but here it's LTC GP I O one something like that okay this one and even there is a host like from the accelerator to the uh, interface now uh, it will be like connected with this host okay in the fair light okay then uh, here midis are there okay that's usual and here if you can see so there is almost 10 analog outputs okay and then digital inputs or outputs inputs or outputs okay so you can either have uh, you can have like this okay so uh, 10 analog outputs plus whatever you want like if you are not gonna do it with uh, inputs and all you know recording only I want to listen it so you want to configure it to 20.1.4 sorry uh, 18.1.4 speaker setup or something like that so you can have it over here basically 22.2 which supports 24 actually that's great having those big numbers okay but there is a missing feature of Dante okay now let's come over to the budget how much it might cost so audio interface is around I guess this is the cheapest over here what we are looking at okay but uh, according to me it's not gonna be this much because this is the foreign just translated thing so it might be around uh, two I guess two two three yeah two three around okay so almost like this okay and then let's talk about the features so with the integration of everything uh, like the uh, Fairlight page towards like that so THN is almost equivalent to uh, zero gain or unweighted so it's way lower uh, than anything else uh, not anything else but it's way lower which is actually great okay and even the response time is like plus or minus 5 dB and like that okay dynamic range is also very huge 109 even I guess this was the same uh, dynamic uh, range output 117 ok 117 little bit higher in this dynamic range sorry it is over here yeah 118 118 ok and uh, this actually doesn't provide anything but this is the industry standard this people are following like that so it actually doesn't provide it okay the MTRX studio thing okay so that is one thing THS plan yes is almost uh, 0 0.002 which is actually great the noise level would be way lower okay then uh, THN here is almost to least so 0 0.0007 so um, this is actually great I I don't know about this because these are like <laughs> um, this a bit pages do doesn't show anything so okay uh, leave about that but 
as i told you fairlight audio interface is little bit outdated in my uh, thing and i hope they will uh, black magic design will improve this and bring the stuffs so i hope they do it very soon so this is the non accelerator one this is the signal flow which many people uh, would like to see okay i have explained it in whiteboard but uh, soon uh, uh, in a short video like hashtag #shorts in that i'll add a graphical thing okay of the signal flow how it goes so thank you for watching everyone hope you liked it the audio might be bumped little bit in middle okay no issues with that and then uh, see you soon guys and subscribe to my channel if you have liked it okay it's around 40 minutes now uh, recording over okay uh, let's meet you in the next video